Hi guys. Hi guys, can you hear me? I know it's been a long time since I uh, did a video uh, going live that is. So you can hear me okay, eh? Uh, how's the video? How's the video? Choppy? Like, choppy at all or no? Am I freezing up at all or no? Okay. Well, bear with me anyways. But you can hear me. That's the main thing, right? Just a bit. Uh, okay. Just a little on. What about now? Can you hear me better now? Not loud enough? Does that have to be a little louder? What about now? Okay. Well, I'm going to start showing you guys how to airbrush. I got probably about eight or ten airbrushes here, as you can see. I got a badger. And uh, trigger type airbrush. And a water, another uh, water airbrush. But this is the one I use the most. And why is that? This one here, I use the most. Okay, this is the one I use the most. And the reason for it, easy to clean. What I'll do is I'll take it apart. You 
No. No master here. That's a wada. Hairbrush. Hi, Darren. Thanks for showing up. Okay. Now this airbrush, that's all the parts you need. That's all that you have to clean. Is this and the nozzle. And that's it. And you can, this airbrush here is 40 years old. And it works like a charm. And the funny part is I got more expensive airbrushes here that are 300 bucks. I still go back to this one. Yeah, it's a Pache H. This has got a five, uh, number five needle. Nozzle and needle. As you get to tell, it needs cleaning. But what I do is I have a little jar here of lacquer thinner. I drop this in and this, this nozzle and let it soak overnight and before and the next day you can use it again. Hi Ken, thanks for coming. Yeah, it's a Pash AH, uh, uh, John, uh, Mopar 62. But that's it. What I do is I just put it in there. You get some pipe pipe cleaners. You just clean inside here. And you make sure that it's not and this hole is completely uh, cleaned out. And this tip, it's got a hole in the top. You just make sure that the the hole is all cleared up. But. Like you just put it in here, in the jar. Put both of the pieces in the jar. Just leave it overnight. That's it. What I'm going to do is, uh, Maybe I'm going to do these once a week. Uh, the first paint I'm going to use is a uh, folk art paint. And then uh, I'll use some of the Kratex, Auto Air, and Wicked Colors. And then I'll show. Uh, with nail polish and I'll also do a 2k clear uh, and show you how that's done if I knew that it was so easy to use an airbrush I would have used an airbrush a long time ago really so freaking easy to use and this is not a good paint but you hardly can get it anymore And for like, I use I use this one mostly for my metals, like um, my AK Extreme metals. Those are the only metal paints I use, and this is the airbrush for that. I don't use 2K Clear for this. With this, I use my Patch AH for that. And when people say you have to you know, mist coats. I don't miss coats uh, with this airbrush, with this Pass AH. And uh, I find, well, you don't want to get too close to the model, but you don't have to be like six inches away either. I I go maybe two, maybe three inches, and I put my, I just, I just put my 2K clear on just like anything else. So. When people say to you, you have to do mist coats, no, I I don't bother, and I haven't had a problem. If you see my last couple cars I done, 
They're all 2K clear. Yeah, um, yeah, John, uh, I've got, like this one in here is 40 years old. It's just like a Dremel tool. If you look after it, it'll last you for a long time. Yeah, that's what I do, uh, John. I just uh, wet on wet. I don't uh, wait no 20 minutes between coats or nothing. I just, as soon as I see it's glossy enough to my liking, that's it. Uh, uh, it all depends which paint, uh, Richard. Uh, this folk art paint, this folk art paint, you got to mix it with uh, windshield wiper wa wash or uh, pledge. And uh, it's, it's about 50 50. What I do is I'll show you how I mix it, and I'll even show you how I airbrush. Yeah, well, I'm a little bit older than you, John. <laughs> I'm 63, so <laughs> this is this is the car I'm working on now. And I just airbrushed that, and that was this paint here, this paint. And I just I still have to put 2K clear on it, which I'm going to do tomorrow. I might do a uh might do a airbrush thing tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. It's gonna look pretty pretty, pretty cool. Those big meats on. Can you guys see that? As you can see, uh, my place is freaking pretty messy right now. <laughs> but I got, uh, like, if there's something, if there's something that you want uh, me to show you, I uh, just, just ask the questions right here. Because uh, I never thought in a hundred years that uh, I'd be that good at doing airbrushing. Thanks, Richard. Like I got, I got, I got uh, the whole candy line from. Uh, uh, all the wear. So I might do a segment of that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it all depends on you guys. Like, what what do you like to see? Like, I, I will. Like, I'm I I put the stuff in the thinner now to clean it. But these, the only thing I don't like about this is the bottles because that thing. Uh, that tube that goes inside the bottle, it clogs up real easy. That's what I don't like. Uh, the double action with the cup on the top, you don't have that problem. But it's a smaller needle, so a lot of thicker paint won't go through uh, uh, those other airbrushes that I showed you. Yeah, well, I took the other side of my son's uh, table. Uh, he kind of got back into it, but he's busy playing video games and whatnot right now, so. And these are, I'll show you the metal paints I, I use. These are the metal paints I use. Um, 
This is another metal paint I use. This gold is this. And then I buy ball bearings from AK. You get a whole jar of it. And it'll last you forever. Forever. <coughs> like I got all my tools and everything before I retired. So, so I don't have to buy no paint, nothing major anymore. I've got a Grex airbrush I haven't used yet. If you guys want to see how that works, I can also do a video on that. Like you gotta, you gotta, you know, let me know because, uh, like I can start with folk art paint. Like I know a lot of people stay away from it. Uh, the only thing with folk art paint, uh, it's not very durable. Alclad, I've got the whole line of Alclad. I won't use them anymore because I like the AK Extreme Metal better. It's just my personal opinion. And you don't have to put black underneath the chrome either. So, Yeah, I... You can't go wrong with a, this airbrush, I tell you. I, I got more. This is a, a Canadian Tire airbrush. It works. It's only a ten dollar job, but it works. It's just that you can't put thick paint through it. That's all. Yeah. This one here, this one here, I like the most because of the trigger. Because I find when the button on top like this, I don't know, my, my finger starts to fall asleep or something. I don't know. I just don't like it. But anyways. But I got Grex too. Uh, this one works fine. Okay. Works fine. So it's, I don't know. I guess I was on the spending spending spree, <laughs> as they would say. See, I got an Arapache H. That's with number three needle. And, that, and that's good for the metal, uh, extreme metal. Uh, you don't have to mix that. You don't have to mix that at all. But the auto air you have to and the wicked colors you have to. Yeah, I know. It does, eh? It does, eh, John? Yeah, I got that with uh, my small compressor. I got another compressor now with a tank. And I love it. Full card? I use uh, the 2K Clear, uh, Frank. I forget uh, that model my my son built the GT40 that was painted purple. That was folk art paint, and that was with 2K clear over it. It just uh, 2K clear. It stinks, like it smells pretty bad. But it's, this is something you're not going to spray all the time anyway. So. But yeah, like yeah, the only problem with the uh, the siphon feed is the bottles. Uh, like as soon as it goes in that 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 piece here, uh, it clogs up real easy. No issues, no no Frank, no issues at all. I use the two K clear on any paint that I use. 
Uh, when people say use floor wax, like pledge for a clear coat, no. You, you pour some water on it, that's it. Then uh, the pledge is gone. He says, I'm just waiting. Uh, the master's airbrush, John. Uh, I don't know. Have you tried it yet? Because <laughs> I've I've had a few in my time, and I don't like them. <laughs> 2K clearer. Yep. Yeah, John. Uh, I'll show you. Right there. See? Uh. Hi. Hi. IJI mechanic. I'm just showing the airbrush I, I'm, I'm going to be using. Uh, the Bash H. It's a workhorse. You can use any paint through this airbrush, I tell you. Any type. Yeah, that's what I thought was Cliff. <laughs> I'm bad for names. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, well, John, I I use it on, I like uh, my uh, Vicky that I just finished, that 56 Vicky, that's with 2K clear on it, uh, that's over nail polish, but I'll see if this is cleaned up yet. I'm just looking for tweezers, guys. Just hold on. Okay. Well, you don't have to leave it in overnight, but it's a good idea. You gotta clean. You gotta clean this stuff out once in a while too. There we go. Uh, make sure you got a rag. I just I do factory rat. Welcome to my uh, live stream. Can you guys hear me well? Like I don't want to be, you know, I want to be a good host. I don't want to be an asshole. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. These are, uh, there's one cleaner I got. That's what I was showing uh, the other guys, uh, the guys that just showed up. That's what I'm working on, on a Model T Drake car. I just painted that today. The tubs are from a pill bottle, if you're wondering. Okay, these things are handy. These are just like wires. And, and this is uh, brushes for cleaning. So what I do is, I use the smallest one, and see you got, you got it come, coming over there, 
what I usually do is just get my knife. And just clean it out. Sorry guys, I'm not talking at the moment. I'm just trying to show you how this this is cleaning process. I got a syringe. Syringe. Sometimes you gotta get a toothpick and pick that paint out. But this, uh, like acrylic, is like a latex, so it's like a plastic. Plastic cover, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So what I do is just to make sure that's cl cleaned out. Or cleared, whatever you want to call it. Just grab a wire, like spark plug wire, or whatever. Let's see if it goes through. So it goes through. So that's good. And what I do is, when I put it together, I, I run. I run my pre uh, compressor at about 30 pi psi, and then uh, shoot some uh, thinner th through it, just to make sure that it's all cleared. Now this one, Then what I do is I run the wire. Uh, just where Yeah, I've done that, Frank. Uh, you uh, mix uh, pledge with uh, full car paint. Yeah, I've done that. But the thing is, uh, it clogs up your, your airbrush a lot, a lot faster than windshield wiper wash does. Just, just to let you know. See? Fuck, I get getting crap all over my freaking fingers, dude. What you do is you hold your hand, and you go like this, and you look down inside of it, and make sure that it's cleared, and it's cleared. So that's it. That's all the cleaning has to be done. And then, then to put it together, just put that in, like that, grab this, make sure this hole is on top. There we go. Uh, it's like brand new again. See? That's all you do. What I got is I got a drawer underneath my spray booth. My spray booth is over there. And uh, it's got all my airbrushing stuff in it. So I keep it separate from all my other model stuff. Yeah, you just use this for folk art paint. That 
or play it, pledge, it's up to you. But that won't dry up your tip. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cliff, uh, this airbrush here is probably about 60 bucks. It'll last you forever. Like, this, this one here has three parts. My other one that I just showed you with the trigger, it's got 20 parts. So what would you rather do? Clean this or clean the other one? <laughs> and the thing is, the, the Apache will, will shoot anything. Anything. Well, Frank, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, Four card paint first. Then I'm going to go to uh, Auto Air. And then I'll show you the metal paints. And. Maybe some pearls, candies. I don't do fancy paint jobs. I, I'm not that good at it. There, there's a guy on Facebook, uh, Alex from Germany, and he does murals on models. Amazing. I can't do that. Yeah. Uh, John, I don't know if you're in, in the States or Canada, but... Uh, that quart cost me a hundred bucks, and that comes with uh, the hardener. The reducer I don't use that much. I don't. Uh, the only time I use reducer is the, the humidity tie. That that's the only, the only time. Yeah, um, like I don't know, like if you guys are busy tomorrow or whatever, uh, I might do an art video tomorrow and show you how I mix the folk art paint. But uh, for today, all I showed is how easy it is to take this apart, clean it, and then it takes a matter of seconds. Like it didn't take long at all. Yeah, you can get those syringes uh, from the hobby, uh, hobby shop, Hobby Lobby, wherever you guys are located. Most of you guys are from the States, I think. Not bad for quality 2K clear. Well, John, if you've seen my last couple builds, uh, yeah, the 2K clear, uh, it, it makes a big difference. Like, uh, the shine is so unbelievable. Like, it's hard to see on a camera, but if you see it in person, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Well, if you wait, Cliff, uh, I might do a video maybe tomorrow. Showing him what the fuck out art paint, okay? Yeah, you can't go wrong with a Pash AH uh, D factory rat. Uh, I pro, uh, pro carry tractor. I didn't see you uh, come in. <laughs> No problem, uh, uh, Pro Carry Trucker. I hope everything everybody's okay. Uh, you can check the, the beginning of the video. I was just showing how to take this airbrush apart and clean it. And, uh, like, you can ask anybody. It didn't take long at all. Did it, yeah, guys. No, no, uh... This video won't be up until after I'm done streaming uh, 
Paul Carey. Two K clear is some great shit. I use it on a, uh, yeah. Uh, Cliff, once you try the two K clear, you'll never go. You'll never use any other clear. I've got Elclad clear. I got other clears here, and they just sit here. I got no use for them. And the Elclad, uh, people brag about it. Not very durable. You handle it too often. The paint will come right off. Okay, no, no problem, Paul Gary, Tracker. Yeah, yeah, you got that right, John. Yeah, it's a, it's a freaking workhorse. I see these scale models. Yeah, I've got, well, the two, two I've got, I've got, well, this one, this one here is a, the Eclipse, and the other one is a Neil, trigger one. Around this time, uh, I, I got on a little late today because I had issues with uh, YouTube because uh, I haven't done live in over a year now. And I think I'm going to get back into doing live shows. Around uh, around this time uh, tomorrow, uh, Cliff. What I'll do is uh, like I got some bodies laying around here, and I'll show you how to mix that uh, folk art paint. Any kind, it doesn't matter. Like some are thicker than others, but I'll show you the the viscosity of how thin it has to be to go through the airbrush. So that way. Uh, you shouldn't have no issues, but you gotta watch that there's no clumps that go in your paint. So I I use uh, sometimes a strainer, like a, a T T strainer, one of these, one of these. And what I do is I pour the paint in here, like a folk art paint, and then any clumps will come in here. So. Yeah, I know, uh, Cliff. Uh, I went from a thousand subs to seven hundred and fifty the next day. That's really, uh, it's really annoying, huh. say the least. Why is that, uh, Frank? I post all my videos uh, by my phone. <laughs> 
uh, the only time I don't use my phone for is uh, going live like like this. You can't go live without a with a phone. I know that if you don't have a thousand subs. No, not really, John. Uh, like everybody has their own uh, concept of milk. I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you how I mix it tomorrow, John. Okay. It's just that you know, I have to do it when I I don't have my son. He comes on the weekend, so. Yeah, I got a, I got a VL, Pache VL, and I've got uh, a, a Teflon, Teflon uh, Pache, but uh, I don't know. You get you you get uh, get to you use whatever works for you. I find the Pache H easy to clean, so you're not frustrated, and that you. To clean between colors, you just spray some thinner through it and then change the color. But you just have to watch over the metallics because if you don't get all the metallics out of there, it's going to come on in your next uh, paint job. Yeah, Frank, uh, my Vicky was nail polish. My 56 uh, Vicky that I just finished, pink. I painted pink. Yeah, Frank, if you check my last video of my Vicky, the 56 Vicky, I did it for uh, Cancer Awareness Build. Well, Frank, uh, like if you didn't live too far away, I would send you one of mine. But uh, it probably cost me enough just for shipping. <laughs> yeah, Frank, j just check my last video and uh, you'll see the nail polish paint job. I don't use nail polish that often because it's, it's very, uh, uh, you think the 2K smells bad? I find the nail polish worse, sorry to say, but I do. Yeah. But you got to watch it with nail polish too, Frank, uh, because you could get clumps in it because you don't know how long it's been sitting on the shelf in the store either. Yeah, John, they do. Uh, I use uh, the double action because when uh, you do the metals, like the AK Extreme Metals, I just missed it on. And with the double action, you can miss it on a lot easier than a single action. Yeah, that, and that and CD that's uh, with 2K clear on there, automotive uh, clear. And I just bought this, this wiring from eBay, twelve bucks, thousand feet of it. <laughs> that's gonna last me until I'm freaking my in the grave. Yeah, CD, but but that 56 uh, Vicky, I would never build it again. That was a freaking nightmare, that kit. A lot of fit issues with that kit, I tell you.
I don't know about you guys, but I always have more than one drill handle. There's three in here with different drill size drill bits, and I got four on my table. Yeah, yeah, CD, that's what I use. Yeah, for a hundred bucks, you know, it's got, I'm going to be able to paint probably a clear coat of uh, over a hundred cars easy. Because you don't use much. Like a bottle like this, I would use maybe that much. That's it. Hey, I, and I don't polish them either, CD. Uh, Chris, uh, they're, uh, no polish of whatsoever. Don't need to. Freak a shine, you know. I can see my face. If I can see my face in the in a, in a reflection, I don't. I don't see any reason to uh, polish it. And you don't want it too shiny either, because no freaking car is shiny, really. Not that shiny. Yeah, John, uh, I got this kit. Uh, that's that's probably about. Well, I'm 63. Now I had it when I was six. So over 50 years ago, and it's called the Orange Crate. What a freaking nightmare! What a freaking nightmare! It's still sitting in the box. Half done. <laughs> Don't forget a lot of the molds are getting old, so you know the model kits are going to be more crappier if they keep on using the same mold. Yeah, unless you're you know building a show car, but. You know, you even go to the show cars, you know, like, they're not gleaming, you know, like, looks like they're freaking dipped in. <laughs> yeah, I know the kit. I know the kit, John. Yeah. That's like, uh... What else is it? Uh, the 67 MPC GTO. Oh, oh, man, oh, man. I never saw a radiator so far away from the freaking motor in my entire life. And the motor block. Oh, my God. No detail whatsoever. Like the... This one doesn't even have 2K clear on it yet. Well, wait until I put 2K clear on it. That's a Pro Mod motor, by the way. That's in it. And uh, this is going on top, I guess. I got it. And then it's going to be a single seat. And this is going in there, like that. Like that. I think it'd be cool. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's another nightmare too, John. Cat. Yeah. A AMT, like from the old days, AMT was my uh, main uh, company that I liked. AMT. 
MPC. No, there's a 67 GTO. There's a 72 GTO. Uh, a few of them from MPC, and they're freaking terrible. Something like that, you just want to glue the hood shut because you don't want to show the motor. So far away from the freaking radiator. Like in real life, you wouldn't see that the motor that far away from the radiator. <laughs> Tell you that right now. Like I said, I still got the orange crate. Sitting in a box, three quarters done. Maybe one day I'll finish it, but not now. Now some of these paints are pretty nice. Here's a here's a blue. That's auto air. The wicked colors are a little bit more uh, thicker. See, here's here's a working color gold I don't know why why that's going doing huh uh Frank uh get yourself uh uh, geez, what is it? The AMT uh, 69 Olds for the chassis and that. And you can make it into a nice kit then. Oh, you already finished it. Yeah, you're right about that, Dozer. Yeah, I was just telling them about the orange crate. Oh, what a freaking nightmare. Revell was so bad at one time if you use automotive paint on it, you would have a chop roof by the next day. <laughs> no, I had it. I had the orange crate since I was a kid, uh, the factory rat. Oh, 14 people in here. It's pretty good. Last time on the live stream, I had two people in here. How was that? <laughs> I guess more, uh, more time. People have more time to, to themselves now. Well, you don't have to worry. Uh, the, the plastic is totally different now. Uh, Frank. Yeah. Well, uh, Dwayne, you know that uh, a lot, a lot of those molds are so freaking old, back from the sixties. Yeah. What hot hot base paints? Uh, I don't use any hot base paints. I I hardly ever primer. The only time I primer if uh, if the body is like a red or blue or and I want to paint it white or something. But then I uh, 
I just primer it with uh, aluminum or silver or metallic silver or something of that nature. So that way it won't bleed through. That's all. No, I don't. I don't, uh, Frank. Unless there's a lot of body modifications or something like that, then I will prime it, but. What rims, uh, Dwayne? Hi, Chucky Monster. Thanks for coming. I was just showing uh, my workhorse, uh, the Apache H. I showed him how to take it apart and clean it. No big deal. Just for now, anyways, I'll be showing uh, how to mix the paints starting tomorrow. Oh, Dwayne, that must have been quite a while ago. I, I, I don't. I'm sorry. I, I, I forgot all about it. Later on, you are down the road with paint, like uh, John uh, Dupa Color. They changed their formula and their uh, new line of paint, so it's not the same stuff. Well, well, Chuck, uh, this this thing is forty years old, and it. And you can shoot pretty well anything through it. Yeah, it must have been Dwayne. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, they worked out fine. I just have a lot of things going on in my mind right now. I'm going, I'm going for the 41th time to court. And take my ex-wife to court. That's a pain in the ass. Yeah, I got a badger too, uh, Chuck. Uh, I don't know. Not a big fan of it. Yeah. And I got two of them, uh, Chucky. Uh, like I said, it only take uh, I don't know ten seconds to clean it, so you know <laughs> you can't beat that. Yeah, I am, John. I'm in Canada. We're in lockdown right now. Yeah, hit you, hit the likes, you guys. The more likes I have, the, the more I'll start doing these more often. It's been a while. It's been over a year, I think. Oh, way over a year. Since the last time I did it. Live. Went live. Yeah, that's right, John. Oh yeah, big time Cliff, you have no idea. 41 times since uh, 98, I'm still paying for alimony. Go figure. So you guys still can hear me?
pretty good. You know, these are, this is what I use, use for the tubs. Cut the end off, cut them in half. Yeah, Dwayne, I just got a Grex. Uh, still in the box, still in a plastic bag, still with the receipt. I haven't used it yet. I got to stop buying their brushes. <laughs> yeah, John, uh, when I think about it, I should have ran my ex over a long time ago. I would have been out of jail by now. <laughs> I told everybody, whatever you do, don't lend me your car because I'll run her over. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Dwayne, I, I think about that every day of my life. <laughs> but I didn't. Yeah, uh, Dwayne, I, personally, I find the Grexel a little bit overpriced for what you're getting. Because some of the water line, you know, like uh, the Eclipse, I think it performs just as good as the Grex, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. Well, CD, uh, I think I paid, God, I paid over 300 for my Grex. So, uh, in the States, it's probably a lot cheaper than that. That's like a Har Har Harbin uh, Steinbeck. Uh, personally, way overpriced. For what you're getting. Way overpriced. But the try for for the first try out, yeah, the Pache H it's a easy tool to uh, to get a hold of. <laughs> one good thing two good things about this virus one people that you don't like are never going to be knocking at your door another thing my beer lasts me a lot longer because nobody's coming over my place to drink
<laughs> yeah, Frank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A lot of places are clo closed in our area right now because of lockdown again. So, well, any guy, anyways, guys, I'm gonna get off here. I hope you guys learned something from here, and uh, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. And thanks for showing up. I really appreciate it. it. Helps a lot. I'll talk to you all guys later. So I'll watch for my uh, live stream for tomorrow. Okay, guys. Okay. Later, guys. Take care.